it is danny and welcome to this update video this morning i hope you're doing great and we're going to be talking about what is happening across the atlantic and what is expected as we head through today so here we are looking at the satellite imagery and there's a remnants of a couple of fronts out there we can see all that moisture as well in the vicinity of the eastern islands of the caribbean now there has been a lot of rainfall activity across portions of the lesser antilles especially going towards trinidad and tobago so there's been a lot of rainfall and that trend is likely to continue as we head through today now because of all this continuous rain and the soil getting so saturated that is going to make it a lot easier for some areas to flood so uh, please be mindful of that guys and please stay safe but uh, as we take a look across other areas we're not seeing where a whole lot of activities happening across the region at the moment but there's likely to be an increase in moisture across the western Caribbean. Eventually, with a front coming down early next week, we could see a lot of moisture increase within the area, and with that, there would be an increased risk of flooding. So, let's go ahead and first take a look at the rainfall expected through today. So, here we're looking at the Euro forecast, and as the map becomes more colorful with these shades of oranges and reds, then that is indicating rainfall activity. Uh, just around half an inch going over an inch of rainfall and we can see that through today those colors are mostly seen for the southeastern islands of the caribbean so going toward uh, potentially parts of martinique saint lucia saint vincent the grenadines grenada barbados trinidad and tobago those areas may experience quite a bit of rainfall at times through today potentially the abc islands there is some moisture within the area so there may be some showers across the islands especially for curacao and bonaire as well and then for the other islands of the lesser antilles of course guadeloupe going to montserrat st kitts and nevis seba st Eustatia, st martin st bartholomew anguilla antigua and barbuda there may be some showers moving through at times as well but most of the activities expected to be for the windward islands Looking toward the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, much not expected. Hispaniola, mostly for the northern portion of the island. There could be some rainfall today. Similar story for Jamaica, especially for eastern parishes. So that rainfall chance would be greater over in the east. And then as we look towards Cuba, much of the island is not expected to experience much rainfall at all. And then for portions of Florida, going to the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, and parts of the Yucatan as well, much is not expected. For the Cayman Islands, a couple of showers may be within the area, headed toward portions of Belize, especially southern Belize, potentially the Keys as well, sections of uh, Guatemala, especially central Guatemala, the Bay Islands of Honduras, Honduras itself, eastern Nicaragua, near the coast of Costa Rica and Panama. There may be some substantial rainfall across some areas today, but a whole lot is not anticipated for uh, the islands of San Andres and Providencia. And then, of course, for northern South America, across much of the area, Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, French Guiana, we're seeing that is quite colorful. So there may be some substantial rainfall down there. So that is what is to expect today as it relates to rainfall. Now, how about the winds? Here we're looking at this forecast here from the Euro, and we can see that this map gets pretty vibrant with these shades of purples and even these blues as well in the Central Caribbean. So now, as we head to that darker shade of purple and going toward those shades of blues, we're increasing in terms of those wind speeds. So winds generally across the region could be anywhere from around 10 going up to 25 knots, especially down in the Western Caribbean. We're seeing that very dark shade offshore of Colombia. So those winds are definitely going to be kicking up within the area. But for most of us, it is likely to be a pretty windy day. Winds coming out of the east or the east northeast. So across uh, the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, the northern coast of Hispaniola, not so much Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands winds may not be as strong compared to other islands. And then across much of the Lesser Antilles, winds may be kicking up at times, definitely across the ABC Islands, which is not something very new. It's always quite windy down there. And uh, for Central America, for the coast, though, we're not seeing where those winds are expected to be very, very strong within the area. So that is what is expected as we head through today, guys, in terms of those winds. Now, let's go ahead and talk about what the models are expecting. So here we're looking at GFS first, 
This is as we head into Monday the 11th, so this coming Monday, and that big front is expected in uh, portions of the U.S. And take a look at all that moisture increase in the Western Caribbean. So all these shades of these greens, the yellows, reds, they indicate all that moisture. So this is as we head into Monday. There we can see the time right there. Now as we head into later on Monday, actually, we can see this front making its way out. But take a look at all that moisture still across portions of the Western Caribbean, especially the vicinity of Honduras and Nicaragua. We can see some of those yellows and uh, orange and red shadings as well, which would represent uh, more rainfall activity within those areas. So GFS is showing that increase in moisture affecting parts of Central America and going towards Euro. Now Euro has been showing this there is that front as we head into Monday, early on Monday. We see all that increase in moisture as well across parts of the Caribbean. And going toward Wednesday, there you still see it, the tail end of the front still within the area, and we're seeing a lot of moisture there. And Euro is actually showing that we may see an area of low pressure form and make its way out, intensifying as it uh, approaches the Atlantic Ocean. There we can see it with a pressure of 1,004 millibars. This is looking quite interesting, and Euro has been rather consistent about this happening. Headed toward the Canadian model now. This is as we head into Monday. We can see all that increase in moisture expected across the Western Caribbean. So models for the most part are showing that there is going to be a much higher chance of rainfall and likely a lot more rain in parts of Central America, Northern Central America and the areas that would likely be affected include Mexico, Guatemala, uh, Belize as well, the offshore islands and even Honduras and Nicaragua. Those areas could be the ones affected most by the increase in all that rainfall activity expected early next week. So please be mindful of that, guys. And of course, I'm here to keep you posted every step of the way with what is happening on a day-to-day -day basis. So again, there is already that uh, all that increase in activity across the southeastern islands, such as Trinidad and Tobago, even headed toward Grenada, the Grenadines, St. Vincent, St. Lucia, Martinique. Those areas have been experiencing some rainfall, especially Trinidad, and that is not going to be easing up today. It's likely to continue through the day, and as a result, there is that chance of flooding across some areas, especially those uh, low-lying areas where the soil is already very saturated. So so please be safe, guys. And of course, uh, I'll be keeping you posted for tomorrow's update. It may be posted in the evening. So usually I try to get the updates out before 7 a.m. Eastern time. So if it's not out before that time, more than likely it will be in the evening. So that is what is happening for now, guys. And I hope you found this video to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I can. And remember to always be with the wise.